So I pulled up a few. Uh, you know, I've been I love Saturn. It's such a versatile tool. Mm -hmm. And and lately I've been pulling it up on the on the on the master fader, as you can see here. I mean, I actually didn't want to mess up my mix. I didn't do a save mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I pulled two up anyway. So what I'm doing here is just going into the starting with the mastering, you know, preset. Mm -hmm. And then uh, where's the the very saturator? So okay. what this does, if you go to each band, right? It's got a four band, you know, uh, processor here. And uh, hang on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we're moving again. All right. So you can click into each band and play with each band. So so what I do with this is I'll take. Uh, I don't know why it's moving so slow. Here we go. Uh -huh. so you, can, you can choose. So here's the high the, the high frequencies, right up on the right. Yeah. So I'll put this, I'll move this to a clean tube. I don't want to saturate the very highs like that. I'm going to go okay. to the upper mids and leave my gentle saturation there. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll play with this. And I'll, I'll actually, I'll do the same over here, bring this down to a clean tube. Mm -hmm. The low end, of course, the low end here depends on, I mean, it's basically pulling down below 40 here to clean up a right. mix. Within the world I'm in, I, I usually wind up pulling it halfway back up, if not more. I don't uh -huh. know lagging so badly but the point is when you have more st sterile kind of stuff a mm -hmm. lot of stuff you know that has no edge it's very clean i get a lot of things that are either you know submixed or two tracks there's a lot of stuff from 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 splice you know the mm -hmm. super clean crystalline sounds and mm -hmm. the, the snappy drums with the high edge and all that and getting a vocal to blend in with all that by using the saturation just a little bit of the gentle saturator and the four band eq that comes with each within each band i'll have to usually have to bring this down a bit i'll play mm -hmm. with this right and and it just allows me to just blend and heat up that area just a little bit and it just glues everything together without having to kill the whole mix with it you know what i mean and i can still use my my you know i've got my ssl on my mm -hmm. master chain here like this mm -hmm. is the master chain for this song which happens to be like a a very you know modern pop guitar kind of live drum ballad thing but uh, which mm -hmm. i wish play for you to, to turn it on and off but we can't do that so so yeah. i've got the ssl doing its classic you know four to one you know a little bit of smack on there and um then i bring this in just for a little bit of heat and then uh, and i lately i've also been using the uh the master desk it's it's i think it's a very it's a very subtle mastering tool which it's supposed to be that's mm -hmm. how they that's how they advertise it and it's it's banging i, I really like to use it and uh it's it you know it kills so another another thing that i wanted to show you guys is this imperial delay here i don't know if you're familiar with this from boss labs no. oh, wait before before you move on oh, i think it's oh, really yes. important you just touched on something that hasn't really been discussed here you are putting a saturator which is essentially a, a, a distortion on your mix bus on the whole mix yes yes and but and yeah. you still, and you still. I, I just want people to have really noticed noticed that that's what you're doing because it's probably going to be weird to a lot of them. Um, so, okay. how did how did you come up with that idea? Why was the first time you said, "Hey, I'm going to use Saturn on my whole mix"? Uh, well, because I used it on sub mixes, right? I'll use it on a bus, right? To so if I've got a beat and I, I'll sub mix the beat in, and I need to just add some gristle and some dirt to the beat, mm -hmm. and not even dirt. I'm not even talking about audible distortion at all. I'm just talking about a pressurization where things start to warm up and blend together a little bit without mm -hmm. using compression because the compression is going to squeeze my dynamics. I don't want to squeeze the dynamics. I just want to heat up the sound a little bit. You know what I mean? So, yep. and 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 so and then I, after using it on on subgroups for a while, I realized, hey, yeah, why don't I just pop this over to the, my, my mix and see what it, if the vocals see if it's fucking up the vocals completely, mm -hmm. and actually it doesn't i found wow it really actually merges them and blends them in a nice way i mean of course i'm talking about staying very subtle here you mm -hmm. know and then also being able to just grab that high frequency band here let me go over back to here mm -hmm. being able to grab the high frequencies i mean take this a db up your whole mm -hmm. mix changes all of a sudden yeah. everything opens up it's like you know in the car stereo just let me turn the treble up 2 db yeah. and you've got something that does that and it's mm -hmm. simple and quick so you know that, that's this is a typical shape I'll wind up with, you know, with just the saturation, just in the high mid band, not in the highs, not in the real lows, not in the punch. I don't want mm -hmm. to distort there. That's I'll do inside the mix. But as, mm -hmm. as a mastering tool, I use this as a, as a blender now. And realize I'm, you know, I'm barely going past nine o'clock. You know, okay. I'm, I'm within this range right here. Not not much at all. Yeah, yeah. I do something very similar with Pro MB. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, and sugar, it's sugar, not, sugar, sugar too. You know, I, yeah, yeah, sugar, sugar. The saturation on sugar is amazing. So, yeah. you know, I love, it's my baby. I love it. So I have pro and B, and I four bands, same thing. And then uh, when I mix this kind of music, that has to go boom. Uh, yeah. And uh, and then I use the the sugar after. But now I'm going to try this. Uh, and so and so you said that the the mastering thing from from the, the from Dirk there from the Plugin Alliance, you say that it's it's great. What do you use it for limiting? Uh, yes. Depending. Hang on. I used it on the uh, the uh, Godfather of Harlem. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Here we go. Godfather of Harlem soundtrack. Because I was mixing okay. for a TV show for songs to fit in a TV show, and I really needed to keep everything super consistent because there was going to be no mastering before this stuff was inserted into the TV show. So I thought, okay, let me, you know, let me make sure that I'm being really consistent with, mm -hmm. my, you know, with everything so I can, you know, so it's even across all the shows. So I cool. use this as a, as a, you know, just a bridle to keep everything smooth and even and, uh, and keep a consistent high end and low end on everything, you know, uh, Beautiful. I, I, I keep, I keep it minimal. I, I don't, I don't let it go hard. I, sometimes mm -hmm. I'll put an L2 after it to give it that extra little bang. You know what I mean? So I don't, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily use it at the end but this track you're looking at now is a gentle track so mm -hmm. if i'll let it be the end uh, i'll let a mastering engineer take it further if they need it but it's ready to go so but cool. uh, another thing i want to show real quick you good yeah yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do this and i have a, i have an um somebody you probably know coming right after you so go, go ahead oh cool, cool cool all right so yeah so this delay i discovered just i don't know random i don't know i saw it somewhere the imperial delay and what's great about it it's a dynamic delay it's already set up. I mean, you know, Pro Tools comes with a dynamic delay, but this mm -hmm. one here is so flexible, so fast, so intuitive, and you can create colors instantly on the fly, just moving the big knobs. It's really easy to work. You got tons of variables on there, including pitch of, you know, of both echoes, right? You got, you know, left and right, the ping and all that. And so you just got your duck right here. You just dial in how much ducking you want and the feedback, and it's, you know, instant, instant, perfect delay. It's, it's killer. You know, I so, have, so that and, and this is this is a really good plugin. Uh, but explain why you would use a dynamic delay as opposed to a regular delay. What's your vision there? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, with someone's kicking a verse, you know, or a, any verse that has gaps in it, right? You know, like they're doing, they're doing the line. It's like a call and response kind of line. You've got all these holes in it, right? You, so I don't want I don't want the delay to constantly be happening underneath every line while it's going. But I do want to have. I want to fill the holes after the line, right? So mm -hmm. I'll just duck it down. Yeah, you know, I mean you can do this in many ways, but this is built in. This is just called dynamic delay, right? Mm -hmm. So and and this this allows for while the vocal is happening, the delay is not as prominent or it's completely off. You can duck all the way down. So mm -hmm. and then then you have to control the rise up, how fast you want it to rise up, and how long you want it to repeat, and what color you want, of course. But the bottom line is you you don't have the delay tripping up the vocal, especially in rap. Where like they're spitting a million miles an hour, you don't want to confuse that and lose diction and clarity. So you want to have that delay just appear after they're done. You know, that that is awesome. 